840 on your hometown station, KHDS. It's the Hometown Morning Show with Tori and Kyle. Joined in studio by the one, the only, Miles McNamara of Comfort Keepers in Home Care. Miles, thanks for joining the Hometown Morning Show. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> Good morning. What? So, uh, look at you're all suited up today. Oh, is there something special going on yeah, today, I have Miles? A few meetings, so I had to pretend to look professional. Every once in a while, you got to do it. Yeah, got to do what you got to do. How <laughs> are things? First of all, uh, we have to talk about ninety eight point one FM because we are getting new listeners all the time, and some of the new listeners, believe it or not, do not know Miles McNamara. How can it be? <laughs> Stop and, the presses. <laughs> and comfort keepers. So for our new listeners who are joining us, who are you, Miles McNamara? Well, we've been searching that answer for years, Tori. <laughs> but no, I'm, as, it re- <laughs> as it relates to comfort keepers. I am the owner of comfort keepers in home care. We've been around for uh, 17 years uh, serving seniors in our Santa Clarita Valley. And what home care is, is we're not nurses. We're, we like to look at ourselves as like personal assistance or a concierge service um, where our, our comfort keepers will come in and help our seniors with activities of daily living, that helping hand that they may need to stay safely in their own home because that's where seniors want to stay. They don't want to be placed into a skilled nursing facility or, or what have you. So they want to stay in their own home. So my comfort keepers will come in. They'll help with meal preparation, help them take their meds on time. They'll you know, help them with personal hygiene if that's necessary uh, but again every care plan is different you know mm-hmm. we start the process with one, one of my care managers coming out and visiting with a family and the, and the client and just seeing what it is they need to be able to stay in their own home safely and uh, with a comfort keeper at their side this is a really uh, interesting thing that's going on at home care uh, because you have very reputable uh, agencies like your like uh, your agency, but they're also, how do I put it? Not so reputable uh, uh, companies out there. And, and I put companies in air quotes because they're not really companies. There may be some private people uh, trying to do the job that you guys do and without licenses, without insurance, without, right. and you got to be careful because yes, this kind of home care tends to be pricey, but you have to get the best home care and you have to protect yourself. Are, are you well versed in, in the different what's out there, Miles? Yeah, and, and, the, and that's an important p- topic you bring up because uh – First of all, home care is a licensed industry. So, I mean, as you're looking for a home care company, uh, and consider Comfort Keepers, uh, but, you know, every, every home care company is what we call an HCO, a home care organization licensed. Uh, so that's probably your first question. But the biggest thing, you know, and, and you're right, there's other agencies out there that don't have the delivery of service that I feel Comfort Keepers does. But the biggest misstep that I see, and, and you're right, it's, it's, it's pricey. Unfortunately, unless you have long term care insurance, uh, home care is private pay, uh, out of pocket. Uh, it's not covered by Medicare, Medi-Cal, although there is some good news on the horizon. Next year, uh, Medicare is actually allowing the Medicare Advantage plans to cover some home care, and there are some home care benefits being covered by existing, uh, like Kaiser Permanente and SCAN. They're, you know, they, they offer some sort of minuscule home care, um, but hopefully that explodes in the next few years because it's such a needed benefit. Our seniors need to stay in their own home. Um, but what I see, what, what is very scary to me is when folks try to save a few dollars on the front end and mm-hmm. it really costs them a lot on the back end, meaning they'll hire a friend from, you know, their mom's best friends, aunts, uncle, whatever. Um, and basically in the eyes of California, if you hire somebody domestically, privately in your home as a caregiver, you've just become a small business. Really? Because uh, caregiving does not meet the independent contractor mode uh, mm-hmm. of 1099 somebody. So you, if you hire somebody, the state and the IRS says that you have to W2 them, you have to withhold payroll taxes, you have to match said payroll taxes taxes as the employer. I don't think that's going on out there, Miles. No. And the biggest thing is, is, is workers' comp insurance because if a caregiver then comes to you and says, I've hurt my back, you're not responsible for all my medical bills for who knows how long, you know what? They're right. So I I just would really caution folks. I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but it's like driving without car insurance. Right. First of all, it's not legal. Mm -hmm. But second of all, everything's hunky-dory, which is a technical term. Until um, it's not. Until you have an accident. Mm -hmm. You know, and the same thing. You know, and and there was a case not too long ago with Betty White. We all know the lovely Betty White. Love her. She had a domestic worker in her home forever. Mm -hmm. Decided she didn't need her anymore. So what happens? This domestic worker goes out, gets an attorney, comes back, sues Betty White – 
for back wages, overtime violation. And then the IRS goes, wait a minute, Mrs. White, you haven't been withholding payroll taxes and W-2ing? So anyway, it's, it's very and, – and please contact me at Comfort Keepers if you have more questions, um, you know, and because and, we have insurance. We have liability insurance. Our caregivers are, are, are bonded and insured. We do criminal background checks. Uh, we supervise them on a daily basis. If, if she calls in or he calls in sick, we have a replacement. Or if you hire privately, you know, basically without care if they don't show up. But I'm, I'm, I really want our listeners to know about the legal and the dangers of of your estate because there's also no statute of limitations meaning that betty white case she could have come back to miss white 10 years down the road and had the exact same lawsuit about back wages and you know all these other things because there is no statute of limitations it puts your estate at risk if you get put on the hook for somebody's medical bills for the rest of their lives because Mm -hmm. their soft tissue injury is going to be whatever part of their disability so it's, it's, it's very concerning that folks don't understand the dangers of trying to hire somebody privately. And again, think about this, Tori. You're caring for a human being. Do you want somebody that's not supervised by a care manager who isn't trained in all the aspects of caregiving, who's overseeing a medication schedule, who's helping in and out of the shower or what? So you want somebody trained. You want somebody supervised. You're caring for a human being. So just keep that in mind. It all makes, it all makes perfect sense, but sometimes... We as humans don't make sense, and we we try and like you say, you know, save a dime. And, and I don't think we do it maliciously, as far as trying to just necessarily save a dollar. It is it's expensive to care for a, a, an aging parent or someone in your family. Oh, it's a budget buster. And and again, call me if you need to have some questions because there are other ways. There's reverse mortgages that you know they used to sound they were awful years ago, but there's so many regulations in place now. Maybe a reverse mortgage is the way to go. Uh, there's there's other, you know, there's a, if you're a veteran and you have certain parameters you've met, there's some VA benefits uh, called aid in attendance available for our mm-hmm. veterans of the past. So there are other ways to finance home care. Um, you know, a lot of times siblings come together and pitch in. That takes a lot. But it is. It's a budget buster. So I'm really hoping that Medicare and the Advantage plans and opening up the coverage for home care because the silver tsunami is upon us. What? I you come up with the greatest, I don't know where well, you get them, uh, the greatest sayings. Do you have, do you think, Miles, and this is just, I'm putting you on the spot, do you Do you have a good feeling that maybe something will change in the near future as far as, uh, you know, Medicare, Medicaid, any type of assistance for this? I mean, this is this is so neat, need basis. Yeah. I don't understand why do. we and, don't. And the, and the reason I say that is, number one, they're already starting to. As mm-hmm. I said, Medicare and the Advantage plans are saying it's, it's very cost effective. I mean, it's sort of like the old days when the insurances didn't pay for the lap band surgery Mm -hmm. or the gastric bypass, but then they realized, hey, if we pay for this now, look at all the obesity obesity issues we're going to solve down the road. So their cost analysis said, let's pay for this this gastric bypass and we're going to say, same with home care. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're going to, you know, one of the main, main reasons seniors go into the hospital is mismanagement of meds and slip and falls. Yep. Um, so, I mean, and, and Kaiser Permanente has done that cost analysis, and they're like, you know what? Home care is a benefit. We're going to start paying for some hours upon discharge to home. Uh, we're going to, you know, get that senior situated back in their home. Uh, but they still haven't come to the full level that I hope they will. Uh, other Advantage plans next year are also considering it. Uh, and, and, and the CMS, uh, which is the Medicare oversight, is saying, yes, let's do this. Well, I think at some point Medicare, straight up Medicare is going to say, we need to do this too. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I'm hoping. Miles. And all the private insurances as well. Our listeners, especially our new ones, 98.1 FM, how do they get in touch with you? Well, they can uh, send up a few smoke signals at 661-287-4200. That's our phone number. We're right here on Lions Avenue. Have been for 17 years, as I mentioned. Uh, or go to comfortkeepers.com. Uh, and, and, you know, punch in the zip code where you're looking for service. Uh, mm-hmm. if it's here in Santa Clarita, then you, you know where we are, but again, it's 661-287-4200 or go to comfortkeepers.com. Perfect. Miles, always nice to see you.